Thank you, Elizabeth. Our next speaker is Dr. Bashar Akel, who's going to give us an update on viral hepatitis. Uh, Dr. Akel joined our uh, faculty in 2008, and uh, prior to that, he did his GI training at Mayo Clinic Jacksonville. So we look forward to hearing an update on viral hepatitis. Well, good afternoon. Uh, Dr. Byrne, Dr. Wen, he's not here. I think he left. He went. Oh, okay. Well, I wanted to wish him happy birthday. It's his birthday today. So thank you for the invitation. It's, as always, it's an outstanding course that you and Dr. Wen have organized. So I was tasked with the mission of simplifying hepatitis C and B treatment today, and I will try my best to do this. So... Starting first, I have no financial disclosure. As you know, whenever we go through those presentations, we, in general, we try to prefer using the brand names. I'll break the rule today. I'll be using brand names just because I don't want to go through the stress of naming all those new hepatitis C therapy uh, agents. So you will hear some free brand names today. So let's start with chronic hepatitis B. You know, as, let's just come to an agreement. Chronic hepatitis B is defined by the positivity of surface antigen six months after exposure to the infection. So if that's positive after that, then this the patient does have chronic hepatitis B. Whenever you screen a patient in the clinic, if the surface antigen is negative, they, they don't have the infection. Usually those are the patients. If they are not immune, you target with vaccination. And if they have been exposed, usually they will have a, a, a already an immunity. Now, Acute hepatitis B infection, we will discuss, short, uh, uh, we will discuss in a few slides. Uh, but the main, really, uh, uh, task today is to address the chronic hepatitis B. And remember, the chronic hepatitis B is a very dynamic vir virus. It's a DNA virus. It goes through so many phases. And the ones that we will be talking about are the active phases. That will include the E antigen positive chronic hepatitis B and the E antigen negative chronic hepatitis B. For the acute hepatitis B infection, anybody who has seen one of those cases, usually the classical presentation in more than half is jaundice. They present jaundice to the emergency room with high liver test. Usually they will have a prodrome of approximately one to two weeks prior to that. And once they are jaundice, usually the jaundice will last for four weeks. Fortunately, very few of those will progress to have fulminant liver failure. Now those two diagrams, the first one here is showing a patient who has been exposed to an or who presents with an acute hepatitis B infection. In most of adults, the surface antigen, which is a marker of chronicity, will disappear and we will form antibodies. For the unlucky few, then the surface antigen will persist, and that's when we have chronic hepatitis B. What determines